All right, you guys, make sure you guys hit the like on the video. I can't stress that enough. I have really valuable content that's not reaching the masses because of good reason. They do not want truth being promoted on social media whatsoever, any shape, way, or form. And that is very abundantly clear to anybody who has been a participant on my channel for however long. I've been doing this for a little over 10 months, almost a year, and I'm barely able to average about 100 to 200 views a video when people make disinfo videos getting hundreds of thousands of views on their channel. It's very apparent what's going on and we're not stopping, but I need you guys to pick up the pace. I need you guys to start just liking the video. I need you to go start trusting me and who I am because it's very exhausting for me to continuously go through a process of having to validate myself to people on the internet that I physically do not know or probably even fucking care about, to be honest with you. The majority of the people that my message hits goes in one ear out the other. And for the people that it does stick with, those those are the people who are meant to listen. Those are the people where change is going to be evident. Those are the people who who have worked hard to get to this point and I'm able to advance their their knowledge. Okay. So like the videos, please. I really appreciate it. I'm going to get into it. This is a really big video. Make sure you guys are hitting the notification bell. I'm probably going to drop like four or five videos today. <laughs> Excuse me. I drop a lot of videos all the time. And I need you guys to be there, you know, and not just pick and choose. Oh, this one's a good one. This one's about Tupac. No. What if my video that you think hasn't, maybe not the biggest characters, but you got the most knowledge out of it. And that seems to happen on my videos. So don't pick and choose. Oh, I like Chester Bennington from Lincoln Park. I gotta, I gotta check this one out. But his next 15 ones I'm not gonna check out because I'm not interested. Make yourself interested because this is truth. And you're not just, if you're only interested in a certain characters, then that means you're only interested in your ego still. You're not interested in truth. You're interested in you still. Let's find truth together. Let's break free from the world stage together of artists and, and entertainers that don't care for us. We care for each other. We're the truth-telling community. We make change that we want to see. And that's exactly what we're doing on this on this channel. So don't take me for granted because I can be gone by tomorrow and you guys would never know what the fuck happened to me. And nor would you fucking care enough to even figure it out or nor would it matter if you did. I'm taking the time to educate you guys and I sacrifice my life every time I show my fucking face to these videos. You guys think it's cute. It's not something that's cute. I don't just say it for fun. How fucking fun for me. I'm brave as fuck, dude. I don't trip on these people. I don't fear any gangsters in my area. None of that shit. No weapon to form me. No weapon that forms against me shall prosper. I'm gonna get into it. We're about three minutes into. I already did a whole lot of ranting and raving on my other video, so I'm just gonna get into it. So Chester Bennington, I got this information from a subscriber who wants to remain anonymous. So I appreciate that person. Thank you very much for the info. This is the second time this person's given us pretty good info. So it's a celebration. It's a it's it's coming together of two sexes as well as celebrating. Okay. It's not praying symbol. It's two hand claps. Ha ha. It's a celebration. It's a mockery. Okay. He doesn't throw a lot of symbolism, which this is a Masonic hand gesture in the 666. Which goes to show you through my studying, um, the people that aren't doing a whole lot of Masonic hand gestures and blatant symbolism of demonic references are actually really big political characters or really big characters in general. Like Guy Fieri, that's the dude from, um, it's Steve, Har Steve Harwell from um, Smash Mouth. Okay, and he doesn't really throw a lot of uh, Masonic hand gestures because he's really big in the game. He's done a lot of stuff to get there. So Volodymyr Zelensky, the president of Ukraine, this fucking absolute moronic of a fucking actor, and people on the world stage are, are people are like, yeah, he's such a good president. You see him in the trenches. He's such a good president. Yeah, he's such a good president. He's such a good. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, you fucking twat. These aren't fucking real people, you dumb fucking idiot. They are here to play out roles, okay? They are not real people. They are not. Let me repeat. This is a real person. He has a soul. He has flesh. Yes, we get it. He's not a real fucking person. A real person in this position would have been this. Somehow this person got this position and now he is this position. That's how you get into positions like this. You don't just... You don't just create 
a fucking world stage and then have people play it. That's the only thing that's happening. They created the world stage, the people in power. You got the Chinese president who I've already exposed as an actor in America. The Ukrainian, um, this guy's a fucking actor. Um, Putin is an actor. Donald Trump is an actor. They're all entertainment puppets. They literally do multiple things. Donald Trump is Elvis Presley. If this doesn't become abundantly clear that the world we live in is a fucking joke, I do not got sympathy for you. I got no empathy for you. I got no maturity, sensitivity. I got nothing for you on this channel. I want you gone. I don't want to hear your comments. I don't want to hear anything from you. I don't want your, your thinking bubbles even thinking about my videos. I just want you gone. Leave us the fuck alone. I got no time anymore to go through the little walking hands with people through this. If you're emotional, if you want things to be served on a fucking silver platter, fuck you. Leave my fucking channel. No. I don't care how big I get as a channel. I am not going to deliver information very peacefully just because it's so much easier and nice and pleasant for you to hear. Fuck that. You need this more than you think. You need this. Listen to my voice. I can wake up your inertia. Look it up. Your inertia. I will wake up your inertia by the way that I talk, by the way that I address your characteristic flaws. I will wake you up and I will change you into the person that you know and God knows you can be. That is how good I am at what I do. I am not a fucking idiot. I'm not going to sit here making a video. Chester Bennington could potentially maybe possibly with some maybe chance of them maybe being the same person maybe that's maybe they might be the same person you guys this person and this person this is my video hopefully it helped you hopefully your day is going super stellar fake not genuine not real wants your attention wants to say everything you want to hear I don't want to say things you want to hear. If I say things you want to hear, if all you do go around telling people how they need to talk to you, you are high maintenance. You are a pompous bitch. You have characteristic flaws. You have issues. And you want everybody to fucking stop the world for you so that they can deliver information because your stupid, sensitive virgin ears only, only listen to one thing and one thing only. The way you like information being told. That is ego. That is narcissism. I am not going to deliver you guys info any which way other than the way that I'm supposed to deliver the info. If I talk like this, I'm supposed to be talking like this because there is some fucking seriousness going on in the world and I'm not allowing you, you people to think that that's okay. It's not okay for you guys to lightly think maybe the world presidents are actually president. Nope, not okay to think. You need to acknowledge the fact that these are puppets and you're being played. If you think and you can even remotely pick anybody off the world stage like like that that guy's good you're an idiot you're deceived you're a pawn you're not listening you're not learning and i have no time for that my videos are so fucking spiritually helpful to you guys i just don't think you know it yet because not only am i telling you and i'm gonna go break it down even further that chester and this guy are the same people I am telling you to stop it. It's not cute anymore. Stop looking for people on the world stage to protect you because you're scared. You're scared of the big bad world. Well, find faith in God or something. If you're so scared about the big bad world, you need to find some type of protection because it's so crazy you need to look into somebody because he needs to be the he needs to be the one person to be your only hope and savior in the world jesus is your savior not this fucking clown not obama not eminem not mr beast these people every last one of them are deceiving you 
have been deceived do not know who God is the way that you and I know who God is. They want to remove God. I give God back to you. I let you remember. I give you the ability to remember who you are and who God is. Yes, I sound like this. Let's move on. Vladimir Zelensky, a Ukrainian politician, former actor and comedian. No, not okay. I am not okay with this. Look at me. If you are my fucking president of you, if I'm a Ukrainian citizen and this is my, my supposed to be my fucking president, you are not allowed to be a comedian. No. No. You are not allowed to be an actor. Nope. Absolutely not. That goes against our humanity. We have actors. That's an actor. We have a comedian. That's a comedian. This is a president. Let's have him be a president. I don't want no fucking comedian being a president. Are we clear? Oh, but I'm supposed to sugarcoat my messages for you. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no sorry. <laughs> By the time you're done with my channel, you go, wow, holy shit. Well, um... If I want to be associated with this, I got to get my shit together. Yeah, you do. You need to get your shit together yesterday. Y'all think it's cute still that I'm making these videos. And some have the audacity to say that I'm clout chasing. You know how embarrassing that is to read for you, you fucking moron? If I was getting millions of views, say it. I'm getting hundreds of views, you fucking idiot. I get hundreds of views because I know what's going on. And I deliver it like this. Oh, today we're going to be learning about this person. You didn't learn anything. You look from another fake fucking idiot moron on YouTube trying to act like he's really good at what he's doing. No, he sucks dick at what he's doing. He, clearly, there's not one true teller that knows what the fuck they're doing on YouTube. He's a Ukrainian politician, former actor and comedian. He was the sixth and current president of UK with the X right here for Satan. Blue and red royalty played out. Six, we already know what that means. Vladimir was born to Jewish parents. He's not even Jewish. He's Ukrainian. He's not even Ukrainian. He's Jewish. Cool. You have a Jewish president for Ukraine. Jewkraine. Zelensky's Dancing with the Stars. Ukraine clip from 2006 goes viral. Two and six, it's 12. Two sixes. He's Dancing with the Stars. That's how fucking funny it is to everybody. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. People are dying right now as you're typing your fucking comment to me on how I need to talk differently on my fucking channel. You fucking Karen. People are dying right now. And the only thing you're fucking caring about is how I, how I deliver my message. And maybe if I were to talk nicer, I'd get more subs. Fuck you. You're the fucking problem. And you want me not to say anything? You want me to be your best friend because you're sub to me? Bitch, please. I don't want no fucking friends. 106,000 subs, only five of those people come to my fucking shit. Yo, don't, don't give me that. Not my fucking friends. It's because you fucking subbed. Video of Ukrainian president voicing Paddington Bear goes viral. This is him. He played the voice of this actor. Or the, the, this character. Character. Actor. Character. John Kerouac. 75% chance of the same people. They're the same fucking people. Chester right here. And who pops up at the very end is Chester Bennington. He popped up at the very end. Okay, who's this guy? Looks American to me. A British American actor. Okay, Vladimir Horowitz. Russian American classical pianist on that 666 with the Masonic hand gesture. Masonic hand gesture. Okay.
And then we get Lars von Trier and Zabana Preinsner. Polish film score composer. Hmm. Very interesting. So Lars von Trier, Danish film director. So Chester Bennington's B-Day, March 20th. Vladimir Zelensky, January 25th. So 20, 25, got the five difference. 41, 44 is a three difference. Five and three is eight. So you got the one part of their year of birth. Five, seven and five, 10 is a three difference. Zelen and Benin. John Podesta is his dad. This is Chester. This is his dad. John Podesta. It's 73%. And then the same guy popped up. Krista, or another guy similar. Kristoff Kasolowski. He's a Polish film director. Same guy that we were just talking about. Popped up on his feed. Enzo Ferrari popped up in this guy's feed. The president, the very last guy, Enzo Ferrari. Okay, that's Italian. Looks very much like him, doesn't it? Okay. Chester Charles Bennington, Phoenix, Arizona. His mother was a nurse while his father was a police detective who worked on child sex abuses at a young age. Look, dude, I don't want to go through every detail. He was a victim of sexual abuse at 11. He went through a lot of stuff like alcohol, marijuana, opium, cocaine, meth, and LSD. He was physically bullied in high school. Um, he was banned from leaving the house for a time when his mother discovered his drug activity. He worked at Burger King before starting his career as a professional musician. So John Podesta, I don't know where I got this info, but it's like scrubbed from the internet now. Um, he was like abusing his wife. And it was like caught on film or like they, they had footage of it, like the sound of it. It was like caught on tape. And then he was like abusing his wife and it was like really, or his, his daughter. It was really, a, it was really disturbing. So that just kind of was really weird to see Chester Bennington's Wikipedia depicting information like that. So 666 symbolism, Masonic hand gesture, journalism. John Podesta is ready to talk about Pizzagate. So John Podesta, I was looking for that. And it couldn't find it. It has been scrubbed. John Podesta discusses election night scandals. Trump abused the justice system. So John Podesta, former White House chief of staff, American political consultant who served as White House chief of staff to Bill Clinton and then counselor to President Barack Obama. And then John Podesta and then Pizzagate. Right? So there's the Pizzagate scandal that he's involved in. Um, the pizza gate is real, actually. Um, it's just not what you guys think, and they still do that, and they are always going to continuously have sex with young children. Um, they do that. They drink their blood. They sacrifice children. They use their their um, skin to put on shoes, and then that's where you get red shoes is a child sacrifice. They take the adrenaline, the adrenaline um, from their blood, and they do a lot of stuff with this. Um, so yeah, all that stuff is real. That's not a conspiracy theory. All that is really real. You just don't really want to know the details. Um, so when people like, oh, like they're typing fat, dumbass fucking comments to me on, oh, you need to talk like this. No, I don't. Um, kids died um, because of a sacrifice, all because of rich white people. I'm okay on, on talking a certain way for you. Fuck you, okay? Uh, Chester Bennington, Chester Charles Bennington. We know who he is, okay? But he had a thing with Stone Temple Pilots, which I never knew. He was um, the vocal head vocalist of Grey Days, Dead by Sunrise, and Stone Temple Pilots. Anyways, this is him young. You can clearly see they're the same people. He's got a heavier, thicker mask on now. It's really obvious. So yeah, that's Chester. Same person. I could break down all this stuff. It's really easy. All their stupid ass symbolism and songs and names. I just don't care. That's my video. Yeah. Um, I'm your leader. 
um, I want to be confident when I speak. So I am. I can easily take down. I honestly feel I can take down a government with the right hands. Like if I was in the right hands, I could take down a government. I could take down political candidates. I could take down political figures. I could take down streamers, YouTubers. Just with me being alive, I easily can do that because I can expose them while being ground and reality based and have this connection with Lord that is so unbelievably strong and, 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 and empowering to people around me that they know that I'm not lying, being deceptive or manipulative. They will know in their hearts of heart that I do speak the truth when I do come around and that I am a threat to the existence of anything evil on this planet. I could easily, without a shadow of a doubt, in the right hands, if I was already getting hundreds of thousands of views on my, if I was getting millions of views like I should be getting, I would already have changed the world that much more easily. This is very easy for me. I'm not scared. I'm not intimidated. None of these people have anything that I want. I'm already a good rapper. I already do that. They can't teach me that. I'm already a professional video game player, one of the best in the entire world. They can't teach me that. I don't need to learn from anybody that's inside of me really good at doing these videos and I'm the only truth teller that makes these videos as truthful as these are and proving things as much as I think I'm proving it. You add all of that together, you get this perfect fucking cake. And I'm very confident that I am this perfect fucking cake for the truth telling community. There is nothing that nobody can physically do to me except physically take me out of my existence. If that is the way that things are going to crumble, then that is the way things are going to crumble. However, I will be doing a lot more damage before that day comes, I can assure you. Now, I ask you to look inside of your hearts of hearts to understand what the fuck I am saying. If you want to judge me because of how I talk, how I conduct myself and how I operate, that is your relationship with yourself. It has nothing to do with me or anybody else. Remember that. And that is on you. And that is your journey. It is your life. And that's always, always, always on you. It's nothing to do about anybody. So you judging me for me being me, you don't belong on this channel. If me just being me is too much for you, something is wrong within you and you don't wanna take the time to figure that out and you jump to conclusions and you're very emotional about me. I make people very emotional because people who think they are really good at something meet me and go, oh, okay, I see now, exactly. I will put the fire to anybody. I think Tupac was one of the best rappers that ever lived in the entire world. And I honestly know in my heart that I'm better than him. I don't care if people believe it. You don't need to. That's my whole point of this, this speech right here. I know that I'm better. He's, he's good. He's dope. He's, he's tight. But he doesn't do what I do. I freestyle. He's written lyrics and then stole lyrics from other people and then acted like it was his. And he delivers it a certain way because he was taught a certain way. He went to school and did all these things to get to there. I didn't have any of that going for me. And I freestyle everything for the last 15 years. We're not in the same ball game, you guys. I don't care how amazing he is, how many records he sold, how much doper you guys really think he is. If you really heard me and you truly think he's doper, I don't care. It means nothing to me. Tupac's dope. I'm way better. Okay. You guys need to understand that this type of confidence isn't displayed on the world stage at all. And if it is, it's the six nines, it's the two pox, it's the people who were put here and 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 taking you to the wrong destinations. Name one person that has the supreme confidence that I have that talks about God as highly as I do, that talks truth to this degree. You I'll wait. I'll wait. You, you'll wait your whole life. You'll never find him. That's why there's only one Jesus. There's only one Sasha. There's only one me, pimp. I am giving you information and I deliver it the way I have to deliver it. I have to deliver my information real and raw because you guys don't understand that this isn't okay. And it's gonna take a lot more than just delivering a message. It's going to take how you deliver it, how much emphasis you're putting, how much passion, how much integrity, how much honor. What are you saying and how are you saying it? All of this matters every bit on my, on my channels. I'm not to be fucked with. 
I'm not a born again Christian. I'm not Jewish. I am spiritual and I know who God is. I will go anywhere on the world stage as long as God is willing and I will always project this energy everywhere I go. I need you guys to start waking up. I need you to stop taking everything that I say so fucking personal. If I say fuck you right now, I need the real motherfuckers to understand what the fuck I am saying and why I'm saying it. I can't continue to go back and forth with people because they were taught very different. You like this channel. You like the majority of the truth. And there's some things that you just don't vibe with. Give it some time. I assure you, you will understand me uh, the more you put into this. The more truth you search, the more I become your best friend. I promise you. The more you go through this and trying waking up people and helping people, the more you will realize, wow, I get it. I, I understand now. Wow, I was judgmental before. I get it. I get where he's coming from. I get why he does it. Holy shit. You guys would give me praise. You guys would be like, wow, you're doing a pretty fucking good job. And I am. I'm doing a pretty stellar job. Talk highly about yourself, but don't get don't take it too seriously. Learn from me. I'm a perfect example. Be humble. Be confident. Those two will work itself out. Be humble. Just meaning you learn from everything at all times. Always remember that. If you can remember to be humble, so learn at all times, even in your darkest moments or your cockiest or arrogant, you, you can learn from that, right? If you're staying humble. But it's not you're just humble or he's humble. The fuck? You gave someone the credit of being humble forever now? You've just given him the title, he's humble? What about when he's a dickhead or he's arrogant? He's not humble anymore, right? It checks it out. So he's not humble, just like I'm not arrogant. I'm not a cocky piece of shit. That's somebody's judgment, a judgment of someone's entire person. I'm 31 years old, so you're trying to tell someone within five seconds of seeing them that their entire 31 years of experience is one word and that I am arrogant. You don't believe it. I don't believe it. God certainly doesn't believe it. Your guardian angels don't believe it. No one does. It's, 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 it's fake. It's not real. Just remember not to take it too serious. It's good to think highly about yourself, you guys. If you do something and you you did good job on it, are you afraid to say you did a good job on something? Why? You don't love yourself? I love myself unconditionally. But you guys would be the first to say, you did a fucked up job. Talk to yourself like that. Oh, you did terrible. You're a failure. You don't do good. You're so bad at this. You're horrible. You're the worst. That's easy for you guys to say about yourself, huh? Oh, you're so good about that. But as soon as I give you the right info, oh, talk highly about yourself. He's arrogant. He's cocky. You're narcissistic. You think too highly of yourself. Wow, let other people say it. See how that works? You were taught that in society, not to think positive about yourself. You're taught not to think the best. You're taught you're not the best. You're taught there's always somebody better. That's incorrect information, pimp. <laughs> there ain't nobody better if you're the best. That's what the best means. Ding. But to be the best, you got to put the work into it. Do you put the work in to be able to claim the best? If you do, then claim it. If you don't, then you're not the best. About ego. And then I'm going to end it. It's a perfect teaching for you guys. Love yourself. Teach yourself. Love yourself. It's not that difficult. Look, bro. The difference between cocky arrogance and thinking highly of yourself is, 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 is very borderline and it's very judgmental and it's very black. It's not black and white. There's hundred shades of gray in between. So don't let other people tell you what you are. You know what you are. You know how you feel and you know what your relationship is with God. If I was as cocky, as arrogant as people perceive me to be all the time. I wouldn't even be successful doing these videos. I have arrogance. I have cockiness. But that 
is super small in relation to how humble I really am. So why would I sit there saying to myself, you're terrible, you're so arrogant, you're so cocky, you're so terrible, you're so... but I work so hard on myself being humble and the other good things. So let's focus on what we do that's positive. Let's focus on how humble I am. Let's focus on how much I try to learn. Let's focus on how much I listen. Let's focus on all that. And slowly and surely, my cockiness and arrogance will dissipate the more that I practice this. But I'm teaching you guys that you judge. You not only judge you, you judge me. You judge everybody. And you think that it's okay just because you're thinking those thoughts. You thought it was okay to type to me, you're arrogant. You thought it was okay to type to me, you're an asshole. You thought it was okay to type to me, you're clout chasing. The only reason that made you believe that was unconditional free will. You had the unconditional free will to say it or not to say it. You chose to say it, giving you unconditional free will. That is the exact reason why we're in this the predicament we're in right now. It's unconditional free will. You have all the power to do or be anything you want to do or be, but you would rather not. I'm going to end it on that. That's a, that's a rhetorical. I love you guys.